South Africa's mourning famed photographer George Hallett, who died on Wednesday after a long illness. He followed and documented Nelson Mandela on his presidential campaign trail for his first democratic elections in 1994. Hallett's also been recognized for his images of the destruction of District 6 as bulldozers demolished a vibrant community whose presence was deemed illegal due to the Group Areas Act. Born in District 6, Hallett was forcibly removed along with many other families as well. Let's remember his life now and times with a very good friend of his, renowned photographer and longtime friend Rashid Lombard, who joins us now um, from Cape Town. Rashid, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Now, there's a generation of South Africans that knows you, Rashid, as Mr. Uh, Cape Town Jazz Festival. But there are many that won't know that the, uh, a large part of the early parts of your life was spent as a photojournalist. Tell us where your life crossed paths with George. Well, uh, hi, morning, Michelle. Yeah, you know, George left just before I sort of met him personally in 1970, but uh, getting to know him was through James Matthews. I happened to move in the same circle. You know, James has always been our teacher, leader of Black Conscious Movement, uh, and the likes of Peter Clark, and that's how I got to know about him. But we finally met in 1982 at, in, in Botswana, in Khabarone, at the Arts, Culture and Resistance Conference, where he delivered a paper, and that's when we finally connected. Uh, and we've been friends ever since. Now, that was a very um, uh, full life, a very boisterous life amongst especially the creatives, who some of whom were in exile, but were doing very important work wherever they found themselves uh, in the world. Um, uh, George himself, I think, went into exile in the early 1970s and made his way around the world uh, with his work being hailed by various uh, institutions. What is it about his work that struck you? You the most? Well, you know, I mean, his, his portraiture, for example, you know, he's got this, this way of, the silent way of, of capturing uh, a, a portrait. It's very evident in, in the series he done with, with Nelson Mandela. Mm. And, um, and the fact that, that uh, you know, he connects with his subject he makes sure the subject's aware of, of him. So, but that all comes around, you know, your own particular knowledge about mm. uh, well, reading and understanding uh, life and politics. And it's all about communicating. And, and George is an amazing uh, um, 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 teacher. You know, he took his craft very seriously. Mm. And he's always sharing his wisdom with, with people, even if you just love photography or you're interested. And, you know, he's... He's always giving you a tip or two, mm. and and that's mm. very special about him. You know, and it's difficult to say goodbye to somebody, mm. you know, mm. that's been part of your life. And I think a lot of people, he's touched a lot of people's uh, hearts. And uh, and you know what's what's very important, I think, is that we'll be able to cele celebrate his life and the vast archives he left behind. Mm. Now, his daughters described him as uh, leaving, uh, he'll always be remembered for his light, his laughter, his boisterous personality and being the life and soul of the party. And yet, if I look at especially the work he did um, uh, 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 charting the uh, presidential campaign of Nelson Mandela, I think of the official photographs of the TRC that he took, he was able to bring across uh, some really heart-wrenching moments in South Africa's history. How was he able to uh, bring those two worlds together? He was the life and soul of the party, and yet he could bring across so much soul in the photographs that he took. I think it's a kind of relief one gives off, you know. I mean, we're all party animals anyway, <laughs> us as artists. And uh, uh, um, yes, you're absolutely right. I mean, you know, is that moments when you're working, and if you look at the Mandela is beautiful, it's beautiful portraiture, it's very special. But the TRC was very intense. And mm. I remember him working and coming home, you know, and, and really, uh, and especially the, 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 um, the part with, with Eugene de Kock, that whole series mm. really shattered him, you know. And, you know, coming home, he had to just relieve. And, you know, we, we just sit alone, the two of us, music loud and party and dance, just, just two men. And, um, and, you know, some of the sports, like the Mandela, 
body of, of work won him one of the most prestigious Golden Eye Awards of the World Press Photography, that was 95. And uh, his other work in London with the Heinemann uh, uh, series, uh, all the book book covers, that also won him a, a Hasselblad Award. You know, so a lot of people don't know that aspect of George. But I, yes, I like the party. So <laughs> that's why we're not going to have a, a, a memorial. We're going to wait until we can get together physically, yes. be it a year later, yeah. you know, have lots of meat, have lots of cold drinks <laughs> and, and, mm. and party. I think that's what you'd love. I'm sure you would have. Thank you so much for your time, Rashid Lombard, a long-time friend of George uh, Hallett, uh, who passed away sadly earlier this week after a long illness. And those photographs really do speak for themselves. The one that I haven't looked at for a very long time called First Encounter of those women running towards Nelson Mandela, the first time that they'd seen him up close for so very long. Because remember, photographs of Nelson Mandela was also banned uh, during apartheid. Some really powerful storytelling that was told during the life and times of George Hallett. May he rest in peace.